This is Adam from Play PSVR, and today I want to talk about the Cobra VR Vader 1 Gunstock for the PSVR 2. And I want to talk about how this not only increases the amount of fun that you have, but makes you much better at your games at the same time. So let's get started. So let's talk about some of the main features of this Vader 1 Gunstock for the PSVR. The first thing you're going to note is the minimalistic design and the lightweight nature of the Gunstock. I really like this because it allows you to move in VR without being uh, invaded or encumbered. And it also is just really nice for storage and moving and portability. So another thing to mention on that note is there are some points on the gunstock that are magnetic. So the first one right here reduces the size of the gunstock by about half. And so that is great. Again, if you're on the move or if you're storing this and you're not currently playing with it, it helps reduce the space that it's going to take. The second is where your left controller connects to the gunstock. Now you can purchase these for right-handed or left-handed. I am right-handed, so this is where my left controller goes, but you can also switch that. And I really like these magnets because you, the, the controller doesn't fall out. The magnets are strong enough to hold it in place, but it's also very easy. If you wanna to go to a dual wielding setup or you need to reload your gun, you can easily snap this on and off no issues right there. So now let's talk about how you actually set this up, where do you put your controllers, and how exactly it works. So here for the gun, we have two clasps, and this is where the controllers go. So if you're right-handed, this is going to be my right controller. And so simply you just open the clasp, now, I am going to mention it's not a big deal whatsoever. Hopefully, you might be able to see it. There's a little mark on the controller since it's white because the stock does use a bit of padding. I'm not sure. I don't think it's necessarily latex, but it's black padding. Some of that will start to come off on your controller, but a little spit, and it comes right off. I've done it, and the more you use the stock, the less this happens. See, all of that is immediately gone. So you just, where the halo is on your controller, where you put your hand, you just put that puppy in there. And once you put that clasp down, you'll see if you've done it correctly, there's a little bit of excess of screw. You have a simple cap. You just screw that bad boy on. Sometimes could be a little difficult to do, but once you get that on, you are ready to go. Move to your left controller. Again, very easy, very simple to turn on and off. And there we go. And then you screw that in. Now you have both of your controllers and you're ready to play. So it really is that easy, that fast. And, and that's really nice that you can go between using the gun stock and using just normal the controller configuration as is to play your games. So now let's hop into and see actually how this performs while playing Pavlov and seeing if it actually feels good and if it actually helps with some of the gameplay. So one thing to note and something you'll immediately notice is that this gun stock allows you to have more fun with your VR games, especially the first person shooters. Part of that is because you're able to actually move, and I perform some moves that I wouldn't be able to do with just normal controllers. So for example, I'm going to show you some of the moves that I can now do with this gun stock. They call me the bad cop because I get against the wall, and then boom, you busted. 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 So one thing this gun stock really allows me to do is be better and focus on sniping in the game. It was always one of my weak points and with this stabilization, it really allows me to shoot faster, shoot more accurately, 
and ultimately be more successful in the game, meaning I'm going to be having more fun. And so I never was very good at sniping in Pavlov because holding two controllers, I just wasn't steady enough to get a good shot. But this really helps stabilize the gun and allows you to make a very quick, fast shot, whether they're standing there or on the move. So another question that may get asked is how does it handle with, with single pistols? So easily enough, this is lightweight and maneuverable enough, you can dislodge the magnetic portion of the gun stock, and then you can play as you normally would with a pistol. So it really doesn't encumber you or prevent you from playing the way you want, regardless of the guns that you are using. Again, it is lightweight enough. I can move this all around. It's not heavy. The stock isn't hitting me as I'm rotating, moving, shooting, and I still have this hand free. So a lot of people were concerned potentially, not only will how this work for pistols, but how about reloading? Well, right here, it works exactly the same way. You pop that puppy out, you shovel it in, you cock back, you're ready to go. So it really isn't going to prevent you from using pistols or reloading your weapons either. So really, it's an all out great solution to have more fun in your gun games and ultimately be much better as well. So I've talked about a lot about what I like about the Vader 1 gun stock, and there is a lot to love. But there's a few things I want to bring to your attention that could be a little better. So the very first thing is I actually feel like the magnets could be a little stronger. So there are times that, again, I'm having to put pressure. I'm in the middle of a game, and okay, my hand slips out, and this falls apart. Not a big deal. You just slap this back on, you're good to go. There are times when you're sniping. Again, you're immersed in the game. And yeah, you're, you're definitely putting some pressure on the gun stock, the controllers, because you're in it. But then I notice, you see right here, you put the wrong type of pressure, this folds down real easily. And if you're lined up and that folds, your shot's gonna be a little off. But again, it's easy. You just, boom, you're back up and running. So not huge deals. And I think it's something even the developers of this, the makers, acknowledged. And I think from this point forward, the stocks are going to have stronger magnets in. Something that they've noticed and they wanted to correct. So I have one of the older versions, has weaker magnets, just something to consider. Two, you know, I showed you how to put the controller into the gun stock. It's very easy. It doesn't take very long. But it's still somewhat cumbersome, messing with this screw cap, and especially if you keep jumping from, especially when all the gun games come out. If you're playing Pavlov, and then you want to play some Gran Turismo 7, and then you hop into After the Fall, and then you want to play some Puzzling Places, and then someone's like, oh, let's play uh, Crossfire, Sierra Crossfire. Jumping between games and having to put these in and out is would be somewhat aggravating and not painful but just annoying it would have been nice to have just a clasp that locked in you're good to go none of this screwing on a cap or any of that stuff the last thing i want to mention and you know i'm not really up on my my gun terms the butt of the gun here that's what i'm going to call it is made of plastic it would have been really nice if this were rubber or if this had some type of outer layer because it I can't say it hurts, but it, it doesn't feel great. And, you know, you're, this is moving, and sometimes you have it up on your neck like this, and it's not scratching you. It's not really causing much pain. But, like, for the end controller, I didn't have any issue. No pain at all. You didn't even realize it was there. This, you're going to notice that it's there. And so not a big deal, not something to prevent you from buying it by any means, but it's just uh, something that could be improved. So now the final verdict here. So this is 83 US dollars on the Etsy store. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Take a look, plenty of reviews. Most of them are all five star. People love the gun stock, love the accessories this shop creates. And I do too. I'm very happy with this gun stock to the point where I'm not going to say it's a for sure buy because it depends on the player. If you play a lot of games involving guns like firewall like pavlov like after the fall you're you're gonna want a gun stock 
it really made me enjoy the game much more. It made me much better at the game. And that in itself is worth the $83, bar none. So if you like those games, if you know you're going to play them often, 100% invest in a gun stock. And this is a great one to invest in. Now, if you play them on occasions, that is, you know, you don't love them. You don't play the gun games often. It may be difficult to shell out 83 bucks for this specifically. And it just because $83 isn't anything to sneeze at. Granted, I don't blame the price. Someone put a lot of research and development and testing, got the materials. It's clear that someone is certainly making this on their own ingenuity. They need to get paid for that. I 100% agree. But if you don't play gun games very often, it doesn't make sense to have almost a $100 accessory you're never going to use. So that's where, if you think you're going to be playing gun games, I don't know, uh, 40% percent of the time or more i would say invest if not you know if you have the dispensable income or you have a birthday coming up or something like that go ahead spring for it otherwise you may want to wait for a sale save for it maybe it's not as crucial you pick it up but overall a cobra vr's vader one gun stock i'm very happy with hope you enjoyed the review if you have any questions please put it in the comments thanks for watching pew pew